This film intends to expose a myth, a myth about something that affects almost every market in the world. A myth that also affects our market. A myth about the price people are willing to pay for the things they want. The role and importance of price is a myth that needs explanation. What is the relationship between brand and price? When you need new tyres, where would you go? The left or the right? Which of these offers the most appeal, instills the most confidence? It's what's called a no-brainer. Price is important, but it's not the overriding thing. Price and delivering value are two different things, but they're constantly confused. So what is value? Warren Buffett is pretty clear. Price is what you pay, value is what you get. But if every price is cut, what is a fair price? When all your competitors are increasing value by cutting prices, what do you do? The answer is, increase your market share by increasing value and raising benefits. Because if we don't, constant price reduction means profits heading only one way. Price is a revenue earner for both manufacturer and reseller. The only part of the marketing mix that creates revenue, all other activities, are a cost. Price changes have the biggest effect on profit. This shows just how and how much. As the chart shows, a 5% increase in volumes will increase sales by 5%, but it also increases costs and profits by the same 5%. A corresponding 5% increase in price has no increases in cost. So increase price by 5% while continuing to sell the same number of units and you're 17%, or in this example, 50,000 euros richer. But people do know the cost of most everyday things. They're called value items. Things like a litre of milk. A loaf of bread. A litre of petrol. A litre of milk. See what we mean? But ask them the price of a letter tray. A folder. A stapler. A lever arch file. Resellers assume that price is most important to customers. Research indicates the opposite. The reality allows a lot more freedom in pricing with considerable room for manoeuvre. Research shows discounting is less effective than a value proposition as long as the proposition understands the customer's needs. Unless we maximise profit through correct pricing, we could be heading for disaster. We talked to 200 buyers in the office equipment and stationery market and discovered that resellers' beliefs on price are not real. <laughs> Gillette was a global, innovative and high-product performance-led company a brand leader in grooming products. Bic was a plastics company who applied their skills in manufacturing high volume disposable pens. They moved into low price razors. Are you ready to 
When Bic entered the market at a value level, Gillette made a mistake. They abandoned their heritage. They moved to low-cost versions of their razors. The mighty brand leader became a me too. Margins dropped, profits dropped. Throughout the 80s, Gillette produced no value-added innovation. Then came a classic fight back. You know the feeling. Every guy has had it. You're unbeatable. Unstopped. Gillette introduced a stream of performance-led products, moving from functional shaving to superior shaving. They recognized the importance of appearance and self-image to men. Every word is cool. I never want they innovated. They moved above a price-led commodity approach. They took back control of the market. They won. We and our retail partners need to think differently. If prices aren't so important, why do we constantly talk about them? If prices aren't known, why do we constantly offer discounts? For marketing, this means we must continue to position our brands in a clear and differentiated way. We've got to stop talking about price. It doesn't take any skill to sell a new Mercedes like this. It's self-defeating. It leaves the buyer feeling less confident and less positive about a now damaged brand. Oh, and in case you've forgotten, it doesn't make you any money either. For sales and marketing, it all means working together to a common goal. Making sure resellers fully understand that by selling on price, they're making a big, unnecessary mistake. The mistake of selling on volume rather than profit. Focus on the 75% of customers who value other things more highly than price. Recognize that the 25% who believe price is everything are ultimately own label customers. They must not dictate our strategy. Sales and marketing must work on the value proposition, not a price proposition, for resellers and customers.